Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I got another Nintendo Switch related video for you. These are the brand new neon yellow Joy-Cons. So these are the new Nintendo Switch controllers uh, in a bright neon yellow. And they came out with the release of Nintendo's new title, ARMS, which is pretty cool. Definitely a fun game. I got it and I'm excited to, to play it some more. Uh, but I love these colored controllers and I just had to do this unboxing video. I bought my Nintendo Switch with the gray Joy-Cons, as you can see right here. So I have these, these gray ones, right? But then, you know, I love the color blue. So I just had to get the blue Joy-Cons because they're just amazing and it's my favorite color. And I saw those and I just loved how bright and colorful they were. I was like, you know what? Like, why don't I get the neon red ones as well? So now I have gray, neon blue, neon red, and neon yellow. And alongside the Joy-Cons, right, you have your, your Joy-Con straps, as you can see here, right, which attach on, give you the extra uh, grip and the extra bigger buttons and stuff, right? Well, I had to get the appropriately colored neon blue and neon red Joy-Con straps, and as you can see right here, neon yellow Joy-Con straps. So I want to do an unboxing, show you these, and show you all the color combinations that you can now do with the controllers, which I'm really excited about because there's a lot of cool color combinations that you can do. So uh, let's jump right to it. So first of all, um, let's get to the straps. Let's we'll save the best for last. Uh, you have your Joy-Con straps, same packaging, neon yellow, shows it right there, shows it on the side, clicking on to the controller. There it is on the side, the grip that it adds um, on the, uh, the Joy-Cons as well, and then the back of the box there. So pretty standard stuff. So let's uh, kind of cut open the little pieces of tape here and uh, pop this thing open. All right, so inside you have, ooh, neon yellow Joy-Con strap. Look at that, it's bright, definitely. You got your black buttons at the top there. Um, it'll be interesting because so far the neon blue and neon red straps were slightly different shades of color than the actual Joy-Cons themselves, which is kind of frustrating because if you want them to match, they don't. So I wonder if the neon yellow Joy-Cons will be a slightly different shade of color as well. So that will be interesting to see um, how they compare. So uh, they are sold separately. So if you have two Joy-Cons, you want those, you do have to get these. Now, granted, these Joy-Cons come with black Joy-Con straps. So you don't need to buy these. These are just if you want the extra colors, which I love the colors and so I'm getting them. But keep that in mind, you don't have to buy these uh, to get the set. So here is the other one. So pretty cool, all right. Now of course, the main event, here's your packaging right here. Joy-Con left and right. So they have it there, neon yellow and neon yellow. The side of the box right there. Pretty cool. This one shows you with the Joy-Con straps attached. And there it is, showing you all the different ways that you can play with the Joy-Cons. Really, really exciting. So, without further ado, let's kind of cut this open here. And, ooh, those look cool. So you do have, like I said, the black uh, Joy-Con straps right here. These are the same ones that came with all the other colored Joy-Con controllers. So if you have those from before, like I do, I now have a whole bunch. <laughs> so I have all these different black ones as well. So there they are. All right, so of course the main event Ooh, so you have bubble wrap and then another little sheet of plastic in here and dun da da da. Ooh, that is nice and bright. Really, really cool looking. I dig it a lot. I love the bright colors. It really makes them pop, definitely. All the buttons are black, which is the same across all of the Joy-Cons. So all of them have black buttons. So that's no different. You have your um Oops, this way, S, L, and S, R buttons, which are also neon yellow. So, as you can see right there. Yeah, definitely really cool. All right, let's open the other one here. Ooh. There it is. Same thing on this side as well. Black buttons. S, L, and R buttons are neon yellow. 
Got your IR sensor at the bottom there. Yeah, really, really cool. So these are the neon yellow Joy-Cons. Button-wise, they feel the same as, uh, as the other Joy-Cons. So yeah, pretty cool. So, uh, with that being said, let's show you what they look like with the Joy-Con straps. Now remember, when you're putting on the straps, line up the plus side with the plus and the minus with the minus. So this one's a plus, so it just lines right up. Let me make sure it's unlocked. Okay, and then you can lock it in place. So here it is with the black Joy-Con strap attached. Let me get the other one as well. So this one, we're gonna line up the, the minus with the minus. Slide it in, and there you go. Pretty cool. So if you wanted like a second controller to play arms like this, um, then you could just buy these and you're set. Um, pretty cool. And I like the, the black definitely fits in with all the buttons. You know what I mean? Like that's, it's pretty consistent. Definitely pretty nice looking. Uh, the black is, is uh, consistently just looks, looks really good with, with all the different colored controllers, you know. But since I have them, we have to try the yellow, right? These are a little hard to take off. The, once you do it a couple times, it becomes a little bit easier, but it's still a bit of a pain. All right, minus with the minus. And... Huh, you know what? For the first time, these... I think they match, or at least they're very close. Close enough that they look like they match. Unlike the blue and red, which was too different of a shade. Um, let me... Unlock, slide this on. Yeah, I mean, like, look at this. Like, I, th I feel like it might be a slightly different shade. Maybe, but it's really, actually, no. I mean, I think it's, it looks the same. I mean, obviously this plus is just a little image there, but I mean, yeah, I mean, this blends in pretty nicely. This is actually pretty neat. I like that. I like that they have the consistent color. I mean, it seems consistent to me. Definitely looks like it. If it is a different shade, it's it's very slight. You know, here's the other one as well. Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, I still kind of dig the black ones on these just because of the contrast and the black fits in with the other buttons. But I also like mixing these colored Joy-Con straps on other colored Joy-Cons, you know, like that is, is very interesting to me. I definitely dig that a lot. Now, of course, the moment you guys are waiting for, you want to see this on the Nintendo Switch, right? I mean, like, that's that's the true, you know, what you guys really want to see. So, I have my Nintendo Switch. Let's take out the gray Joy-Cons here. And... Oh, actually, I should turn this on. Because, as you'll see when you go into the controllers menu, turn the volume up. So right now this one's paired because I had it connected there, but all you got to do to pair the controller, watch this, you just slide it in and it's going to recognize the controller. Boom. Done. Recognized. And if you look closely, it knows that it's a neon yellow controller. I love that. Like that's my thing is there are custom websites out there that will make your own custom Joy-Cons, but the system doesn't know that. The system doesn't recognize the color. It recognizes the color of these official ones. Boom, look at that. That is that is just awesome. I love that. So here it is, guys. This is the Nintendo Switch with the yellow Joy-Cons right here. This is it. Looks really cool. I dig it a lot. I think um, the... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, it's nice and bright, you know what I mean? Like, very, very poppy in a way. Like, it just, it looks really, really slick, I think. Um, I definitely dig the yellow. You got a nice black and yellow combo. Black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> I used to go to school and, like, black and gold were the colors, but everybody would sing black and yellow because it was close enough. But, yeah, definitely bright. Colors, really nice, really cool. I dig it. I definitely dig the, the neon yellow colors right there.
definitely really, really cool. So that being said, right, we also have our Joy-Con grip, right? So what does the neon yellow controllers look like on a Joy-Con grip? Well, let's find out. And the answer is, this is what they look like right here. Again, the black and yellow, just great combination. Very fitting. Looks really, really nice. I definitely dig it a lot. Really, really cool. So, of course, you know, the questions that people are going to have, right? I have these controllers. Let's add in, let's bring in all these other colors here and let's just go wild with the colors. Let's just have some fun with this. That's what I want to do. I want to go wild. So, lots of colors here as you can see. What can we do? Let's start with the main event. Let's start with the Nintendo Switch. You've seen two yellows, right? Well, let's take yellow and gray. That's pretty neat looking. You know, kind of adds a little bit of spice on one side, you know what I mean? It definitely kind of stands out right there. It's pretty neat. And of course, you can swap it and do the other side. Maybe you want the right side to have the yellow. And then you add a little bit of spice on this side right here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, let's add in some blue. My favorite color, blue. Ooh, that is a color combination right there. Look at that. That looks really cool. Really, really fun. Definitely. I, I dig that one a lot. Oh, I just popped off my kickstand. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've done that on my Switch. I did it to a demo unit before, but I've never done that to, uh, to my own Switch. <laughs> All right. Now let's swap them. Blue on this side. Yellow on this side. I've already shown color combinations like blue and red and stuff, so I'm gonna skip those. I'm just gonna show you the color combinations with uh, yellow, so just see the new one. So if you wanna see the other combinations, check out my unboxing videos of the other colors. I'm really digging this color combination. I think that looks really neat. Oh man, now this is also really cool. And I actually think this is very fitting of arms. Um, let me actually boot up the game right here because like that, right there, look at the menu. I'm gonna turn the volume down so it's not like super blaring in there and turn the brightness down as well because it's messing up the camera stuff a little bit. Um, like, look at that. That fits very nicely. I suppose you could use red or blue, really. Um, but that just, that fits like the, the main menu screen right there. Like that's, that's really cool. I, I dig that a lot actually, that's, that's really neat. Um, now let's swap them, let's do the other side. And yes, to answer your question, when you connect the Joy-Cons, the line that goes down is the color. So this was red, this was yellow. Um, so again, really, really cool. Very fitting, I think these colors just pop. Looks really nice, definitely. I dig it, I think that's, that's really neat. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so that is the switch. What about the Joy-Con, right? So let's let's bring in our Joy-Con grip. Let's do yellow and gray on the Joy-Con grip. And I'll grab another Joy-Con grip right here. And do the other side. So these are the two different versions of the gray and yellow. Really cool. Again, I like how you can just mix and match, you know, with whatever colors you want. And it's so easy to do. Blue and yellow right there looks really cool. I dig that a lot. Really, really neat. So if you want to decide, like maybe you like red and yellow, like well now you can see what these combinations look like and you can decide which controllers to buy and how you want to personalize your Nintendo Switch. 
And yes, I know that for Splatoon 2, at least in Japan and Europe, I don't know if they've announced for North America yet, but I know that they have the, what is it, one neon pink and one neon green. I definitely will get them. I'm just waiting a little bit to see what their release plans are as far as what they're gonna do for North America. Are they gonna release like two pink and two green or just those separately? Like we don't really know, right? So that's kind of, I'm just waiting it out, but I will absolutely buy those and show you all the colors. So look at this, it's so bright and colorful. I like it. All right, now we have Joy-Con straps, right? So let's show you the Joy-Con straps. So I have my yellow Joy-Cons right here. Um, and let's attach a blue and let's attach a red. So here we have these fun little color combinations. And this is where you can also, you know, mess around with it. Like I kind of dig that a lot. Rather than have all solid yellow, like the black is pretty like standard. Like I would feel like if you want something more normal, like get the black one and it fits in well. The yellow one just looks a little odd. Like if it's all one color, if you want something poppy and fun, Throw in these extra colors, you know what I mean? Like, why not? Like, maybe you just buy the yellow Joy-Cons. You don't have blue Joy-Cons, but you buy the blue Joy-Con strap. You could definitely do that, since the straps are sold separately. So you can really mix and match and come up with all sorts of crazy color combinations, right? So, like, I have these, but I also have these yellow ones right here. Like, I can throw on the yellow onto a red or onto, let me throw it onto the blue one here. Again, these fun little color combinations. You know, like this is this is great. This is really neat what, uh, what you can do with it, for sure. Let me just grab uh, a gray one here and just show you what one of those looks like. I mean, look at that. Now that is a lot of fun as well. So again, you know, you can really just mess around with this and just have some fun with it and throw in, you know, whatever color combinations. Like you can see right here, this is just all sorts of crazy, like whatever different combinations you wanna do. Like this is really neat uh, how, like all these options that you have for the controllers. Now I also have one last thing that I wanna grab real quick, and that is the Joy-Con wheel for Mario Kart. So I do have the Joy-Con wheel. So let's grab a uh, yellow controller and I'm gonna show you what that looks like. I don't believe I've actually shown the Joy-Con wheel for um, for all of the Joy-Cons. Um, actually, I think it goes in this way. Yep, there it is. You kind of have to line up the, uh, the stuff right there, so it's slightly off, but basically, that's how you would play. So there's this one, and then the Joy-Con wheel set, the official set from Nintendo comes with two and you um, have your sets of two different Joy-Cons right there. So, really, really cool, again, great stuff. So, lots of really cool color combinations, and this is one thing that I love about the Nintendo Switch, but also that it's baked into the UI. It recognizes these controllers. It's not just a matter of, like the Wii remotes had all sorts of crazy colors, and I collected a whole bunch. I have most of the colors for Wii remotes they released. Bowser, the Toad, the Yoshi one, like those were cool. But the system had no idea which controller you're using. The system, the Switch, knows the controller. And for some games like 1-2 Switch, where it pops up in the actual menu, like here's, here's one thing that I love about it, right? We're talking about 1-2 Switch. So if you actually um, go into the game, it will show you which controller you have connected in the actual game. So it, not just in the menu, right? We're talking the actual game. I have one, two switch digitally uh, on here. And so that's the really, really cool thing is, you know, let's say you have one, you know, red and one blue or something. Like the UI will tell you which controller you have connected. So that's where the colors actually provide an advantage in the game rather than say, wait, I have two grays, who's using what, right? Well, now you can actually tell uh, based on the um, the controller here. Hold on, what is it saying? I'm not even paying attention right now. So which one is he? Oh, this one, yes, okay, shake it. All right, so I just wanna kinda of show you how it actually benefits in a game as well, how you can truly connect it. So, really, really quick once it connects. But yeah, overall, I love the neon yellow color. I think it's, it's bright, it's fun, 
it's really cool and it definitely looks yellow I know some pictures kind of made it like a slightly like greenish thing but it actually looks really nice like it's actually pretty um, pretty cool the way that it that it looks you know so um, let me see if this this does this game show you I don't know if this one shows you the color of the Joy-Con uh, maybe not. Let me pick a different game. <laughs> um, let's do ball count right here. Um, so I love that, and it's definitely really useful. So, yeah, there you go. So as you can see right there on the Nintendo Switch, neon yellow right there. So if you had two different colors, the Switch would know which is which, which is perfect. You know what I mean? Like that's, I love that. I think that's, that's really, really useful. And that's an, an example of how the color goes beyond just a color and it actually becomes a part of the system itself, which is really, really neat. So anyways, enough talk. Just want to show you guys all that. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below. If you have a Nintendo Switch, what colors do you plan on getting? Do you like this neon yellow? Or are you going to get one of these other colors? What kind of color combinations are you going to do as well? Because this is really, really fun to do these mixing and matching of stuff. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching my unboxing video of the brand new neon yellow Joy-Cons as well as showing you all the color comparisons with the other Joy-Cons that have been released as well. This just looks really cool. I love having this whole set and uh, now I have a full set for four player Mario Kart. Although I do have a pro controller so I've already been able to do four player Mario Kart but now I can do it with Joy-Cons as well which is really really neat. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a couple of people have asked me what games I have on my Nintendo Switch so I just wanted to answer that super super quick. I just bought ARMS. I have one two Switch. I have Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, a physical copy. It's in my Switch right now. I have a demo of Snipper Clips. I have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I have a demo of Puyo Puyo Tetris, the Japanese one. I have a demo of Just Dance, a demo of Blaster Master Zero. I have Super Bomber Man R, the physical copy, but it's not on my Switch right now. Uh, that's the global test fire for Splatoon 2. I bought Fast RMX, and I have a demo of Dragon Quest Heroes. So. Um, yeah, a couple games that I've gotten, but I'm going all digital from now on, aside from Breath of the Wild, it's a cartridge, so I'm loving it a lot. Hope you guys enjoy this video, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later.